my ass barely fits here. There's absolutely no one here. Fucking hot and I'd like to smoke some cigarettes. It's been four years that I'm single. I have dated a while but not much because it was a pretty difficult breakup. Like I knew this guy whole years in my university. But never mind. I want to talk about how to get over an a relationship. And I broke up simply because um simply because it was going to be a long distance relationship because of covid and this guy so we met in university, we were together, we know each other, and um, we were in a relationship for one year and a half. And then because of COVID, since the university became online, he wanted to go back to his own city, so he doesn't have to pay for staying in a, another city, which makes sense, but... Uh, I felt like if he wanted to stay for me, he would have, honestly. And in that relationship, like I wrote some stuff back then. And I read them a few days ago. And I had written that I feel like this guy doesn't add to me as Arta. He, he doesn't add more of me to me. He takes it from me. Every day I become less and less of myself. Which is pretty sad. Um, yeah, I had closed my eyes on the red flags. But I was young and I learned new stuff. And when I broke up with him, it was pretty difficult because I felt like I still love him and he loved me. I know he did, but love is not just words, it's also actions. And I believe after some people live your life, new people come, unexpected people. Uh, after I broke up, I also went back to my hometown for a refreshment and i became friends like more friends like a bestie to one of my friends back in high school and also when we were like in school as children together i don't know the name of that school it's not elementary the one before that i forgot and we were in touch but that time we became besties <sighs> And she was a K-popper, she's still a K-popper, and she introduced me to all this K-pop industry. And I knew some groups, I listened to some songs, but I didn't know exactly what is going on. So um, she played some EXO and got seven for me, and I became... XOL and Agase and she really helped me through a breakup, my breakup um, he introduced me to some fine ass man in K-pop industry which made me think um, you know, looks matter I used to believe that appearance doesn't matter because the character is important which really is looks change through time but the thing is at least when you break up with that guy you say oh he was beautiful now I'm not face shaming him or anything but girls know what I mean 
and probably gays too. So I think friends help a lot through a relationship breakup and relationship and breaks up, breakups. I don't know. Um, one tragic thing that happened to me, like I kind of stay in touch with my ex after the breakup, but um, after a few months, I lost one of my best friends. She passed away and. Maybe I talk about it in another video, how to go through five stages of grief, which I believe is so much more. <laughs> um, I hope this swings noise isn't annoying, but anyways. Um, yeah, and uh, I felt so depressed after I found out my friend has died and I called my ex just to talk about this because you know I felt like maybe he can comfort me and you know what he said he said oh uh, I unblocked my other ex-girlfriend now that's another maybe sorry but i really don't want to make this video about him um the thing is that was so unnecessary to tell me like we were friends and i called you to comfort me as a friend and you talk about your other ex-girlfriend what the fuck and his ex wasn't nice to me at all like we were fr friends with this girl and she betrayed the fuck to us and after that i just uh ignored all of his messages i didn't block him because i knew his ego is so high that if i ignore his messages he would uh, stop talking to me which was successful and it was very difficult going through a loss of a friend after a breakup I was really fucked up and what happened after that was my time I started a new lifestyle all of these things really helped me uh, listening to new songs, new movies. Now, I did a very wrong thing after two years. Um, I kept having these dreams, or like sleeping dreams, about this guy for a really long time. Like, imagine after one year of breakup, I'm still dreaming about him. And I wake up and I'm like, God, I'm so tired, I'm so done with him. Why doesn't he leave me in my dreams? And I really wanted to talk about him, about these dreams. But I didn't want to text him. So I told myself, if he takes me one more time, I'm going to answer him. So now it's like uh, two years after the breakup. One day he texted me about some bullshit and we started talking and we became friends again and we slept together which was a mistake but i went with him to his city and i met his family and they were really a nice family and i went back then i was going to go to japan so that was a big goodbye for everyone and we kept in touch after I went to Japan and one of the things I'm really grateful back then like one of the good things that happened when I became friends with my ex was that there was this monument it's called Chogazambil and I really wanted to see it once more again and his city was near that so he took me there to see it and when I was in Japan we sometimes we spoke together on the phone and 
after I came back like a few months ago, uh, he really wrote weird messages on my Instagram. Like I started posting these videos and stories about feminism and queers and he said really fucked up stuff. Like he was one of the guys who thought being sexist, like making sexist and queerphobic jokes makes him very talented in dark humor, which didn't, and he really couldn't get it. So we had this really annoying talk. And one day he called me a feminist Karen, which was very fucked up. And I really, I was like, Arto, what are, why are you following this guy? Seriously, why are you, like, he doesn't add anything to your life right now. Please stop this bullshit. So I blocked him everywhere. And yeah. This breakup took a really long time for me, mentally, physically, digitally. Yeah. And when I was in Japan, I really thought that maybe he is still the one. Can you imagine? And now, like, feminism really helped me. Because if a guy is not feminist and he makes jokes of this situation, he's not even a friend of mine, rather than someone who I think about as a partner, as a... So I just told you this kind of embarrassing story about the shit. Also, I did it this guy. Um, it was a really very complicated situation for both of us. <coughs> so I thought this guy is bisexual, but he's more attracted to guys. And one day he told me that he's attracted attracted to me. So I was like, okay, let's give it a try. And we tried and it was unsuccessful, but it really made me very angry because this guy was like, this guy was had all the red flags like any other straight cis guy. The thing is, as a queer person, I thought maybe another queer, especially a, <laughs> I don't know what made me think that maybe bisexual men or gay men cannot be misogynists, but they can. And he was not a misogynist, but he did make some weird comments like one day he told me that men get raped too men are raped too and who does that men honey men and when i talked about feminism he was like i'm so scared of you when you talk about feminism so i was like you know I, i'm done with fucking coward guys you're scared of me when i talk about feminism what the fuck so yeah i'm not really looking for a relationship though i really looking forward to see a very nice partner my god this place is full of fucked up flies just like my exes <laughs> um but yeah and i've just finished watching Bridgerton and that show made me delulu but having children is a red flag for me like if a guy wants me to have children I'm like no thank you and I really enjoy being single like sometimes I just wanted to sleep with someone and have relationship with someone just to forget my ex or because i had this mindset that oh his penis was the last penis in me so i i don't want that 
so I slept with other guys and I do not regret it because it made me more experienced but now after I have these experiences I want to tell you that guys are not worth it to change your vagina's pH for them yeah my period started today which is so early I, I still had time it came three days early do you think this can handle my weight oh it can cool because I'm gonna smoke one more cigarette and then go back home because it's so fucking hot it's a beautiful sky there is not a cloud <laughs>